One of the things we really talked about during the elections, and it's something I really believe in, was training. And, you know, this is one of those professions that people don't see training as essential. And because there's no body, there's no regulation around it, it means I can just pick up the mic today and, and I'm a broadcaster. And it doesn't matter if I don't do it the right way. And I think this is one of those things that will try to address that. We're not trying to exclude, but we're trying to say there's a right way of doing it. And it's important that there's a way the, the books must be done. Then in broadcasting, there's a right way of doing things. And there should be a body that tries to regulate that. And we're happy to have as many people as possible be broadcasters. But there should be a process. That, you know, you should be trained and you should be able to do it the right way. Because I think as we discussed earlier, there's a lot of responsi responsibility that is placed on broadcasters. Especially when they talk about national, you know, interest. Meanwhile, the chairman of Channels Media Group, Dr. John Momo, highlighted the significance of repositioning the media landscape with the inauguration of the new body for broadcasters. Broadcasting, as we all know, remains one of the longest existing professions and the most powerful organ of communication in Nigeria. But a glance at many professions in Nigeria, as you alluded to, will show the need for us to have the Society of Nigerian Broadcasters, the NBA, the Nigerian Bar Association, the Medical Association, the Nigerian Medical Association, the Pharmacists, we have the Pharmaceutical Society of Nigeria, the Nigerian Society of Engineers, the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria, to mention but just a few, all have the backing of law and they regulate their profession and the professionals. The need for us, therefore, to resuscitate, and I choose my word very carefully, to resuscitate the, Nigerian, the Society of Nigerian Broadcasters has become absolutely necessary. We need to establish a regulatory authority that will regulate the profession and practice of broadcasting in the country, set the required academic qualification and ethical standards for broadcasters. We also need to ensure proper standardization of broadcasting equipment, especially in this digital age.